hello internet um, today I just uh, remember that I promised that I give you an overview of um, uh, Ford 7810 which I've had it for the last 23 24 years and it has given me a very good service and it's something that I really cherish as part of my equipment in the farm so we it has been a while so without further ado so this is the Ford 7810 I don't know the year of manufacture but it's believed in between 19 either 89 or 1991 model I think they were the last um, it's an UX UK use I bought it way back in uh, 19 87 when it was just about about seven eight years old um, so I've had it for, 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 for since 1998 uh, uh, so let's walk around I give you um, a view of this uh, Ford um, as you can see this is a Ford uh, 7810 I don't know whether yeah the writing is a bit uh, uh, inside because it is obscured by this uh, front loader 7810 case 2 case 2 this is this is the mark of the case 2 um and um it is a six cylinder there's a six cylinder engine a 6.7 liter uh, bore um, the tank here is just in front here um, you can put up close to about 200 liters of uh, diesel I had just repaired this um, uh, steering tank because it was leaking but it was the entire system which was removed uh, the tires are 14.924 front and uh, 16.9 dash 38 behind um, it came with this uh, hard case body which is typical of the UK um, uh, uh, tractors it also had a front loader but when it came it didn't have the bucket so I borrowed a friend of mine of uh, this bucket which is a bit smaller for this uh, tractor um, the the um, hydraulic system still works although there is still some leakage I, I think um, in my previous review uh, this handles this strong handles which is attaching the the, um, the front loader when I transported one time uh, they were stolen so I had to spend uh, close to about um, uh, $7,000 to refabricate these two ears this and the other side uh, the hydraulic system is still very good and I'll be able to demonstrate to you uh, in a while uh, whenever I have a front bucket I either load it I either put a counterbalance with this uh, uh, this plow, or if I if it is, sometimes this is too heavy and cumbersome, so I use this uh, scrapper, the blend scrapper here, to counterbalance the weight in front and the uh, back. So basically, that is the walk around outside. So let me take you inside. Uh, you have a look at it. It is and. Uh, it's an old system which is uh, really uh, uh, very good uh, let me first of all one of the downs that I don't like about this tractor is that uh, for me to start I have to come and press this pin which is way down here I think for those of you who know Ford uh, uh, this pin here you'll see me here all the time coming and sometimes it doesn't uh, lock so I have to 
to do some bit of acrobatics in order to to have it uh, uh, done so let me just uh, uh, quickly do it and uh, we'll go back to it's done so it is it has clicked so now it will be able to start very quickly uh, especially when I'm in there so it's still pretty in good condition it's only that the color that's been packed outside for quite a long time but uh, it works very well so inside the cabin uh, let me start with the dashboard this is the dashboard it um, if I switch it on here that is it shows the battery it shows the air cleaner the oil pressure sorry the battery and the and the air cleaner and then on the front side there is uh, these buttons are still not working this the entire panel was uh, destroyed by one of my uh, plant operators so I have a problem but these are the switches this is for the four gear so it's a switch for if you want to put a, a four wheel drive you put it here these are the lights for the rear this is for fast or slow as you can see the rabbit here and the, for the slow on the left side this is um, this button here let me show you uh, this button here this first one this is for hazard uh, this is for the front lights flat lights which is up there and this is for to switch on um, the front lights that is the headlights this is for the headlights this is the on you can hear it uh, this came also with an adjust for steering so this is the lever for adjusting the steering if I wanted to move in front or just to make myself comfortable that's what I do a chalk the ignition key uh, secret lighting system here which was stolen uh, definitely by very funny characters uh, the clutch is normal the setup is normal so I have a clutch which is really here uh, it, it, it's, it's still very heavy really because um, I recently made an adjustment after many years this has a double clutch and um, so 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 it's something that I may have to need to check in the near future the brakes are two and you can set it into one if you want to use one if you want to want to use one time to to close it but I normally don't recommend it so I guess use the of it. so this is the the gas accelerator you can see here um, and then I have also the hand throttle which if I want uh, to put more power and then I want it to be something I put it these are the gears so it has a total of uh, 14 uh, 12 gears for the for the front for the front and uh, there is high low and the reverse so in low I have gear 1 2 3 4 I uh, in in the high I have one two three four and then in reverse I also have one two three four so there are 12 gears a, a, a synchronous gears um, what else do I need to show you in the front uh, this is the um, for the air conditioning which is a uh, uh, vents here uh, this are uh, this is a switch for the wiper if I want to put the wiper it uh, it it, it is the, it is the clock <laughs> uh, definitely the clock sometimes works sometimes doesn't work this is the fan um, this is a utility um, uh, jack which you can jack in and this is the heater here there was the radio but it was stolen it had a side mirror here which was also stolen this is a shade if you want to shade it you can put a shade and if you turn it you turn it um, right so that is the front let's see the the usage of the labors here so here I have the green and this is for hydraulic system the green and the blue and um, I use the green for the front loader and I use the blue when I have a tipper 
or a trail a tipper or when I'm using the 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 harrow to do the to 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 either draw down the the the, the plows and take it up. So this is what I use. This is for the three point each. This is the level for the three point each, and uh, you can control or you set it up using these two uh, buttons up and down. Um, for the PTO, this is the draft effort. So you will have this uh, these two here. You set them. If I want to switch on the BTO, I have to move here from here to this point, and the BTO uh, starts operating. Very simple, no glide, uh, no nothing. It is just a, a very simple mechanism. And then you can adjust the effort using uh, one, two, three, four, five, yes, uh, five. There are five uh, levels, so so you can you can you can use this one. Um, this button is for the auxiliary service, so if I want to really adjust it so that I just use the three point, this is the lever that I use and it really works very well. Then this one is adjusting the uh, the three point hitch, depending like for example, if you look at this um, uh, disc plug, I can adjust just by sitting here, then uh, to see the angle which is uh, the the seat is very comfortable. <coughs> the seat here is very comfortable. This is the seat. I, of course, this was not the original. It was a black color, but I met with this uh, uh, leather thing. The toolbox here. Put some few um, aircraft here. And this is the handbrake. And basically, uh, this is... Um, it's much about the uh, the interior. Now let's uh, let's let's start it and see how it works. So uh, for those lovers of Ford seventy eight ten, which I call the one of the grandfathers of uh, the tractors here in the farm. So let me start it. So here. So that's it. It starts very well, no complications. That's the sound of a uh, 7810. Um, one thing I forgot to mention to you, this is the joystick. This is the joystick for the front loader. Uh, the original was broken, so we just took a knob from, I don't know what type of vehicle, and I put it, but I know the so, so if I want to raise it like that, you can see it's raising all the way. If I want, if I stop it, if I leave it, it stops. If I want to take it down, it goes down. If I want the bucket to, to, to lift, if I want it to drop down, and the way it's dropping, you can see it. If I want to lift it, I just push it on this other side. So you can see the movement of my hands. And it has, um, it has a lock here. See this little button, I can do the lock. It also has the the free float. So the free float is that once you, once you've already engaged it, you just uh, go all the way up. Um, so um, guys, in the my good good friends in the internet, this is about the code uh, of the um, have any comments about this tractor because um, I haven't seen one around here. I live in Nakuru. I don't think I've seen anybody having one here. So if you have, if you have any comments, you let me know. I have a problem with the leakage. You can see this leaking here. Uh, so I don't call it and that's been out. Really a thorn in the box, but um, I have a um, mechanic who come and check for me. So, if you can, for those of you who have it and you have this similar problem, please input me so that I can use your knowledge to 
rectify this without um, any further I will prepare another video when I'll be using it to hold um, uh, all the manure to the farm or making the roads or carrying a few things using the front loader and you will have to appreciate how this thing really works and so, thank you so much and uh, uh, keep, leave your comments below and I will be able to answer them. Thank you.